The Coalition for Reforms and Democracy, or CORD, has listed all the six pressing issues on the form used for collecting signatures for the referendum. And as Bukista Nyabo reports, members of parliament allied to the Orange Democratic Movement hit the ground running in the hunt for referendum signatures as they officially launched the initiative in Kisumu. The strains of local music mingled with voices seeking instructions. <laughs> Members of parliament allied to the Orange Democratic Movement had arrived in the Lakeside City to launch the drive to secure signatures for a referendum. The party had tasked its legislators with the responsibility of taking the referendum campaigns to the grassroots, spearheading the push to collect one million signatures to validate the calls for a referendum. And we decided that every MP is going to the ground to start collecting signatures. We have started with Kisumu. And we want to move to all the constituencies. While a section of residents, perhaps undecided on the matter, stood back watching keenly as the day's events unfolded, the youthful legislators stepped up to the makeshift stations, their supporters behind them. Their reasons for coming here varied. <laughs> Watu wanakufa hapo obvio obvio, chenye walituambia itafanyikana, ijafanyikana paka saizi. We are pursuing where we can get it and read it because we are pinched. The shoes is pinching us. Nowhere we can uh, take it to a club. It is a referendum. The MPs made clear their intention to traverse the region in order to mobilize support for the constitutional amendment. Now that you are remembering that we should have had dialogue, we are telling you we will dialogue with you through referendum. On the back of many questions as to what exactly COD was asking Kenyans to sign up for, an ODM member of parliament released images showing the signature form. Listed on the referendum petition forms a number of issues which it says need to be addressed urgently. These include increasing revenue allocation to counties and strengthening devolution, strengthening the National Land Commission and the electoral system, enforcing inclusivity and diversity in national appointments and strengthening public institutions and constitutional commissions. Persons in agreement are required to turn up with their national identification cards together with their voters' cards reference numbers. Leaders allied to the ruling Jubilee Coalition have vowed to block the referendum bid, terming it an attempt to undermine the government. ODM has, however, turned a deaf ear, determined to get at least 2 million signatures from the Lake Region that has about 2.5 million registered voters. And as if to affirm her new resolve, the NAC Kenya Iron Lady Martha Karua visited the Kod Okoa Kenya Secretariat. She said the Jubilee leadership had no right to intimidate their governors and MCAs against pushing for a referendum. And for the governors who are being intimidated and MCAs, a referendum question is a constitutional issue. And every Kenyan must have the right to make a decision without being coerced or enticed. After all, when we vote, it will be secret ballot. NAC Kenya will meet as a party to deliberate on the way forward on the referendum issue. Wilkinson Nyabo, KTN.